How's it going everybody? I'm back with another Benton action figure review. Um, I am going over some reboot figurines today. Uh, like I said at the end of my last video, um, I don't have very many reboot, reboot figurines. This is literally all I have right here. Um, I just bought Ben himself and then uh, I bought the three aliens from the reboot that did not appear in the original continuity. Um, just because they were different aliens and you know anything else I had in my collection so I did want them to be represented um, but as for you know collecting any of the other aliens I I never bothered um, you know I the original ones are good enough for me um, I you know I, I'm happier with with those anyway so uh, these are the only four reboot figurines I have here uh, so I'll be talking about Ben uh, Overflow, Shock Rock, and Slapback. So let's get going on Ben. Here is Ben Tennyson, uh, reboot Ben Tennyson. Um, this figurine, the articulation, um, his head does spin all the way around, and then his arms go all the way around at the shoulder. Um, you can see that joint there at the shoulder. They they go up and down, actually, and they can spin on that ball joint. Um, so a little extra movement in the shoulders than we're used to seeing in the figurines with the original continuity. Um, the shoulders do go up and down like this. And then he also can spin his arm at like the sleeve. So where the arm connects to the sleeve here, that does move. Um, he does not have any other articulation in the arms though. Uh, the, the elbows are like at a permanent bend, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I know they were kind of going for more like an action sort of pose for him. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of that like permanently bent elbow since this is just one, one solid piece here. It kind of would have been nice if that had been articulated. Um, but it's not, so. And then, actually... I guess there is some articulation in the wrist here. Um, you can see it spins, even including the Omnitrix. That spins there. Uh, this side does not have that, so they must have just wanted to add some, a little bit of articulation there for, uh, you know, if you want to pose them using the Omnitrix or whatever, you can kind of move it and spin it. Uh, moving on down to the legs, we do have a hip joint. And then this actually has some extra movement too. So it goes uh, up and down, you can see right there. And then it does turn all the way around too. So pretty flexible there with the hip joint. Um, he does have a knee articulation, so this knee moves up and down. Um, kind of moves side to side there, as you can see. Uh, not quite as much as the hip joint, but it does move to side to side a bit. And go all the way around and a little bit of side to side movement but it goes up and down pretty well and then nothing else there nothing in the feet no ankle joint or anything like that so we're definitely seeing some articulation in this guy that we uh, did not typically see with the original continuity figures um, like I said, my only major complaint is that these arms are not articulated. You're just kind of permanently in that bent elbow pose. Um, as for paint and detailing on him, it doesn't look that bad. My my biggest thing is like something's just off about his face sculpt, in my opinion. Like I don't know if he just looks too angry or too pointy or something, but. Um, he doesn't look quite like Reboot Ben, in my opinion. Something's just a little bit off here. Um, he's got, maybe he's just got some like crazy eyes going on. Um, I mean, I know that the the Reboot Ben obviously looks pretty different from uh, all the other Bens that we've seen, but this toy doesn't even really look like Reboot Ben. It just uh, the sculpt here is kind of off. Um, the paint. And you know everything else looks really good. You can see they even did some tiny little sculpting on his shoes here. I'm wondering, 
Oh, it looks like he does have some articulation in his uh, foot right here. I did not even notice before. Shows you how much I actually play with these figurines. I I just pretty much display them, so I'm kind of finding this out here with you with these re reboot figurines. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's a nice little extra articulation there. Um, but back to the paint and everything. Looks pretty good. A um, little bit of sloppiness here and there. You can kind of see on the pockets and stuff that uh, it wasn't painted totally right. Um, you can see like a little sculpting error there. He's got this line on his hand that's actually like raised. So I'm guessing that's not supposed to be there. The hair doesn't look too bad. All these like, you know, flips and and uh, spikes in his hair. They're sculpted well. Got some sculpting on the ears, the face. I mean, the actual, you know, physical sculpting doesn't look bad. It's just that the accuracy of the sculpt um, isn't quite there for me. Like all of the other Ben figurines we've seen have been pretty spot on. Uh, they look just like Ben. This one just seems a little off. See the pockets are sculpted there. The Omnitrix actually looks pretty good. Surprisingly, like, that's one of the best um, Omnitrixes we've seen on a Ben figurine. It's painted all the way around. And all the little dots and everything are painted. It actually looks pretty good. See his tens painted on there and they sculpted some folds in his clothes. So overall this is not a terrible figurine. Um, like I said, probably ma most major complaints are just uh, these permanently bent elbows and then the face sculpt. Uh, it's a little, it's lacking some accuracy in my opinion. But let's move on to the next figurine and get him up here next to Overflow. So here's Overflow. Uh, scaling's not terrible on that. I think Overflow's probably, you know, definitely a bit taller than that. I don't think Ben's up to Overflow's uh, shoulder, but for a toy, uh, scaling's not too bad. Um, Overflow, I know, like, everyone just wants to say he's water hazard. Like, I think there's people that actually think he is just, wa like, he's water hazard. Um... He is not, like, he, he is, this alien is an entirely different species than Water Hazard. Um, they come from a different planet. It's it's all, you know, been uh, um, confirmed and everything like that. This is not just a reboot Water Hazard. Uh, yeah, they're similar, but even their powers are um, f used pretty differently. Like, uh, Overflow can has more control over the water he uses and can shoot more powerful blasts. Um, I think he can even control the temperature of the water that he shoots out. Uh, water Hazard, from the original continuity, didn't really have that much control over the water that he shot out, or at least not that we really saw in the show. Um, but yeah, they're, they're definitely two different aliens. Um, it's not just Water Hazard with a different name. Um, but moving on to the actual figurine. Uh, looks pretty good so we don't have any articulation in the head here but the you know the body shape and the design of the character kind of lends itself to that it's you're, uh, it's not really surprising to see that he doesn't have any head articulation the arms can go up and down at the shoulder they can also go all the way around here uh, if you can see in there, it's kind of just on a ball joint that you can move all around. And then he does have some articulation at the elbow. So that moves up and down. And then again, this this itself here uh, is like forearm. That, that spins all the way around. Um, and then at the wrist, this also spins all the way around. The hips or the waist, I'm sorry, the waist actually turns uh, 360 degrees, you can turn that all the way around. 
uh, the legs at the hip go up very far and you can move them uh, you can spin this all the way around so you can kind of move it in a, in a lot of different directions uh, and then at the knee this spins all the way around too and it's got a bit of up and down movement so again uh, we're seeing some really nice articulation with these re reboot figurines um, I guess years down the road I, 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 I don't even know if these are made by the same toy brand that used to make Ben 10 toys um, I want to say they're not, so that that could have to do with it, but uh, these definitely seem to have more articulation than we're used to seeing with the older Ben 10 figurines. Uh, that's it for articulation on him. The sculpt and everything looks really pretty good. Um, I like the way that they did his like water parts. Um, it's basically just a see-through uh, blue plastic but it kind of gives the illusion of them being filled with water so I, I think that looks pretty cool I like the way they did that um, these holes here I can't remember I want to say maybe he had like some water accessories you could plug into there and like he was shooting water um, but I I never kept any of the reboot packaging or anything so I, I'm not totally sure I'll, I'll include pictures at the end of my review like I always do um, face looks pretty good sculpts not too bad this is back all these lines in the leg are all sculpted and detailed Ometric symbol right there front and center looks pretty good So yeah, I mean, I, I liked Overflow. I thought, you know, it was a cool, uh, you know, for a, Ben's first set of 10 aliens in the reboot, it was kind of a cool alien to have. Um, kind of sad that he got taken away by season three, but, um, you know, he was replaced with some, some cool other cool aliens. So, but yeah, that's about it for Overflow. Let me get him on up here next to Shock Rock. So here's Shock Rock. I think that scaling is pretty good. Um, Shock Rock's probably a bit taller than Overflow, but this this doesn't look too bad at all. Or Shock Rock should be a bit taller than Overflow, I should say. Uh, right here with the figurines, they're about the same height. Shock Rock, uh, definitely like, you know, one of the faces of Ben 10 Reboot. He became a really popular alien with the reboot. Um, one of Ben's favorite aliens, obviously. And his, he's, his like, you know, he, he was basically the whole story arc of season two. Um, but a pretty cool alien overall. I love the design of him. I, th I think that's a great character design. Um articulation his head does go all the way around it's kind of hard to move because of all this armor plating but it does go all the way around arms go up and down like we've been seeing with the other figurines and they also spin all the way around elbow joint goes up and down and then also spins all the way around and then wrist joint spins all the way around same with this arm and then we do have waist swivel so he can turn all the way around at the waist up and down at the hips with the 360 swivel and then elbow, or, uh, knee joint goes up and down and then this also turns all the way around at the knee so these just have some like really nice articulation I, I, I wish we would have seen um, I wish we would have seen this kind of articulation with some of the, you know, the older series. That would have been awesome. But it's cool that, you know, kids nowadays are, are getting that. <laughs> um, sculpting and detailing on this guy. The sculpt is all, like, really good. I mean, everything is sculpted so nicely. Um, all his armor plating. You know, you can see these, like, electricity 
waves and stuff in his in his arms and, and around his body um, they're kind of lacking some color like I think all of these you know kind of little electricity spots on his body they should be like a lighter blue I think you know in the series he's got all these like lighter colors of blue kind of pulsing through his arms and his body so while they did sculpt that they did not paint it so he's just like one solid color of blue um, which compared to the actual cartoon is kind of like you know not as lively it's kind of lacking some some spirit there uh, just the one flat blue on his body uh, doesn't look like he is really made of electricity like he does in the show um, I mean, if I had never seen this character before, didn't know anything about him, I, I probably would not guess that this was supposed to be electricity just based on this figurine. Um, so I think they probably could have done a little better job on that, on the paint there. Um, but everything else looks pretty good. They've got, you can see these, uh, this green stuff like that, the uh, green stuff, I, I think it's kind of like supposed to be moss or, um, you know, like, moss that grows on rocks uh, that's all on here and it's painted really well and it's actually textured this is very bumpy and textured um, and it like the rock here is very smooth and then this gets really bumpy and textured so that's a nice extra touch you can see all the cracks and stuff in those rocks his feet they look really good the sculpt on this guy is just fantastic I mean it, this is pretty cool here <clears throat> uh, they got his spikes coming out of his shoulder uh, this is more it's a bendy rubber like you can see that how that bends it's not this hard plastic this is like a bendy rubber but they look really good and they're also see-through you can see that There's a close up on his face. So most of this figurine is, is really impressive. Uh, like I said, they just kind of they should have given him some more blue, the blue colors like he does have in the in the TV show, just to kind of give him that electricity effect. Uh, but that's it for Shock Rock. So let me get him on up here next to Slapback. So here's Slapback next to Shock Rock. Uh, scaling there, you know, it's not too bad. Um, Slapback, his size kind of varies depending on how many duplicates of himself he's made. So scaling with him is kind of whatever you want it to be. Um, so yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Now Slapback is the newest alien in the uh, reboot series. Uh, this is Ben's newest alien. Uh, he just he just got him in season three. Um, you know, a lot of people argue like because of his duplicating powers, like why didn't they just bring back Ditto or bring back Echo Echo? Um, but you know, it's because it's it's not the original series. You know, it's it's its own thing. They don't have to bring back every alien from the original continuity if they want a duplicating alien they can you know make up a new one if they want um and i i think slapback's pretty cool i like the concept of you know as he duplicates he gets stronger and denser and but at the same time he also gets smaller um i mean that's i've never never seen that twist on a duplication power in any kind of uh, media or superhero stuff, um, not just Ben 10, but I, I think he's pretty unique. And yeah, it, it could have been cool to see Ditto or Echo Echo, but I, you know, just as happy as Slapback, I think he's a pretty cool alien. Um, so let's look at his articulation here. His head does go all the way around at the neck. Uh, shoulder goes up and down, and then it does have that 360 swivel. And then he does have that movement in the elbow, so that spins all the way around, and it goes up and down. And then he has the movement in the wrist that goes all the way around. And then he does, I don't think he, yeah, he does not turn at the waist, there's no waist movement there. 
Uh, his hips, he does go up at the hip. Um, he's got some extra kind of, you know, up and down here with that joint. Uh, it doesn't go very far. You can see it kind of does that. Um, and then this at the ankle turns all the way around. And that's it for articulation on this guy. Uh, not quite as much as the other couple figurines or the other couple aliens I've done this, in this video. Uh, but it's still not too bad. The paint and detailing. So the details and the sculpt on this guy are really good. Um, I, I, I think the arms look great. You can see all the lines they put in, in him and like that spike on his elbow and this kind of pad thing on his on his forearm. Uh, his face looks really good and his wacky eyebrows are sculpted very nicely. All the lines on his clothes and everything are actually sculpted. These are raised up a bit and textured. You can see the detailing on his belt. And the back looks really good, a big old Omnitrix symbol on the back. Uh, paint though, paint was uh, difficult with this guy. Um, a lot of it was not painted accurately, um, mainly with his lower half. I had to do a lot of repainting on his pants and his belt and that kind of stuff. Um, I also had to repaint his eyes. Uh, because his eyes were basically the same green color as his skin, um, but it, it's supposed to be a much more uh, like you know brighter green. It's uh, it's not kind of it's not like this frog green. It's more of a bright yellowish green, um, which my camera's not really picking that up. But I did repaint the eyes so they're a brighter green, um, and then the pants here were. If I remember right, um, the legs, the pant part of the legs was just all solid blue, um, including his kind of crotch region here. Um, so all this that's painted black right here was just this blue color. Um, and then these joints right here were actually green, and you can kind of see that still when you bend the leg. Um, that was green, so it was like he had random skin color right there, and like, they didn't do any of the black detailing on the pants. Um, I did paint some right here uh, with the gray and this black right here was also painted. Um, but they just got like really lazy on the lower half of him. Uh, and it was enough that I felt like I needed to correct it because it just, it was pretty noticeable in my opinion. Um, so I painted that and corrected it myself. And I'll uh, include a picture at the end showing what the original looked like. Um, but the back, back looks pretty good. But you can see how, like this is all just solid gray. Um, I don't think it's really supposed to be like that. But um, otherwise, you know, good looking figurine. I, I I like him. I'm glad they made this figurine, especially since he's such a new alien. They were like really on top of it and, and made him pretty quickly. So that's it for this video. Let me get all these figurines back up here. And that's a wrap on another Benson action figure review. Um, you know, I know the reboot gets a lot of hate, um, probably more than any other Ben 10 series that has come out, uh, more than Omniverse. Um, it gets a lot of hate. Um, you know, I'm kind of neutral towards it. No, it's not the best, best Ben 10 series, but it's not terrible either. Uh, maybe had a bit of a rough start, but it got it's pretty good, and they've done a lot of good things with it. Um, they've done some good things that you know the original continuity never did, and you kind of have to applaud the reboot for you know doing that and stepping up where the original didn't. Um, it's it's a different tone. It's made for a different audience. It's made for younger kids. Um, you know, it's not the Ben 10 that a lot of people grew up with, including myself, um, but it, it's not for them. It's it's for a newer audience, a newer generation, and I think that's cool. I think that, you know, we, our generation got lucky with such a great series like Ben 10. 
so why not let a new generation experience that with their own Ben 10? You know, I don't see the harm in it. Um, I, I think that, you know, the Ben 10 fandom as a community is lucky and should consider themselves lucky that Ben 10 is even still airing. It's still, new episodes are still coming out. It's still popular. I mean, it's had a very long run. It's going on, you know, what, like 15 years now that Ben 10 has been on the screen. Um, you know, a lot of fandoms would be jealous of that. There's plenty that wish that their show or their movie was still on air or still on the screen or still being made. Um, you know, I think that someday, you know, we might not have any form of Ben 10 on the screen and that's going to be the day that you know, we should complain and be sad, uh, but right now we should be happy that Ben 10 is still, you know, live, it's still alive and it's still strong, but that's just my opinion, so, uh, you know what, thanks for watching, guys, um, I've enjoyed doing these reviews, uh, this will probably be my last one, um, for the indefinite future, um, I might, you know, do another one here and there, but uh, this will wrap it up for me, I think. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.